Okay, this is take three, and it's not Lincoln and Sons, it's Jonathan Colden. I don't know if you've ever heard his songs, but they're really good. We'll see how this goes. Oh, that's not... How if you selected the song? It was a hustle... How if you select one? There we go. Welcome to my secret lair on Skull Crush a Mountain. I hope that you've enjoyed your stay so far. I see you've met my assistant Scarface, whose appearance is quite disturbing. But I assure you, he's harmless enough. He is a sweetheart who calls me master. And he has a way of finding pretty things and bringing them to me. Oh, I'm so into you, but I'm way too smart for you. Even my henchmen think I'm crazy. I'm not surprised that you agree. If we could find some way to be a little bit less. Afraid of me, you see the voices that control me from inside my head. Say I shouldn't care. Yet, there's a yet. Only half monkey monster to please you. But I get the feeling that you didn't like it. What's with all the screaming? You like monkeys, you like ponies. Maybe you don't like monsters so much. Maybe I used too many monkeys. Isn't it enough to know that I ruined the pony? Making a gift for you. Oh, and I'm so into you, but I'm way too smart for you. Even my henchmen think I'm crazy. I'm not surprised that you agree. If I had some way to be a little bit less afraid of me, to see the voices that control me from inside my head, say I shouldn't care. Me. Two of us alone inside of my golden submarine. Well, up above the waves, my dreams squad with my the atmosphere. The fools who make their foolish lives may find it quite explosive. Won't mean half as much to me if I don't have you here. And if there's an easy living here on Skull Crush a Mountain, maybe you could cut me just a little slack. Would it kill you to be civil? I've been patient, I've been gracious, and this mountain is covered with wolves. Hear them howling, my hungry children. You should stay and have another drink and think about me and you. I'm so into you, but I'm way too smart for you. Even my henchmen think I'm crazy. I'm not surprised that you agree. But if you find some way to be a little bit less afraid of me, the voices that control me from inside my head say I shouldn't care. I should